I want to make it clear that if I was called on to vote on the flood insurance bill that is now going to be a part of this package, I would vote no. Because there are some very important provisions that I was going to offer as amendments to the bill that I think are crucial to not just my state, but to the state of Florida, potentially to the state of California, uh, and potentially to Texas as well. And I'm not sure uh, that their senators um, uh, are in complete agreement or understand some of the challenges here. But I want to point a few of them out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get a chance to vote no, because I'm either going to have to vote for the whole package, which I intend to do, although this flood insurance bill is not in the position uh, that I would support. And let me give you three reasons. One, there's a provision of the bill that talks about V zones. It's called velocity zones. And right now, with FEMA, FEMA basically says that if you're in a velocity zone, you can't rebuild. Well, Mr. President, <laughs> I've got St. Bernard Parish, Plaquemine Parish, Lafourche Parish, Terrebonne Parish, Cameron Parish, and large sections of St. Tammany and St. John the Baptist and Orleans Parish that, as you can see, are designated V zones. This means likely to be flooded, not just based on their elevation, but the way that the historical patterns of storms coming out of the Gulf affects them. And I understand that we have to be very, very careful in these areas. So I had an amendment to say, no, you can rebuild, but you have to build up to the right elevation. Or you have to rebuild according to you know, the highest standards. If we don't fix this and this bill passes, which it looks like it will, there are going to be great concerns or questions, if not a downright prohibition, on building in these areas, regardless of whether you pay insurance or not. This is not right. Uh, the other amendment that I was prepared to offer is an affordability amendment. Uh, people may not realize this, and I hope that the members will be listening. Again, this bill affects all the states. But in the underlying bill, there's a provision that allows these rates for everyone in the country to be increased by 15% a year. Now, people are really struggling to pay flood insurance now. I think that's very steep. People that are arguing for the 15% a year increase say that it's important to get this program actual, actuarially sound. It is currently running a $20 billion deficit. I am well aware of the need to get this program in line but I was going to offer an amendment that simply created and expanded a short, a small, but important affordability provision of $10 million that the department would have to help people uh, on fixed incomes or lower middle income families that, of course, are working along the Gulf Coast and in some of these coastal areas. They're not sunbathing, not vacationing. This isn't about second homes. This is about primary homes. They have a right and have been generations living near the coast, either fishermen, et cetera, an affordability amendment that now I can't offer, I will file for the record. Um, this is a very important issue. Flood insurance is not just about business and commerce. It's about culture. It's about a way of life. It's about preserving coastal communities. It's, being, it's about being resilient in storms.